Why would anybody else of any other culture stop doing what they're doing as long as we do it? That's like, that's like a white guy. What's up, nigga? You get mad at him because what? He said the N word. That's our word. You can't say that shit. <laughs> but how the fuck can you get mad at him? And that's all we do. What's up, nigga? My nigga. You know what I'm saying? But then, we kill us better. I said it today, man. We kill us better than anybody. So how can we get mad at them? How can they get a hot How can we get mad at somebody else when we kill each other better than anybody? And ask the question, what about black on black crime? I also ask about one on white crime. What about Asian on Asian crime? Statistically, people that are in the same communities kill each other. That's not necessarily specifically black issue. Now, I'm not saying it's not a problem. It definitely is. But most problems can coexist. The police can kill our black people with reckless abandon, and black people can kill other black people with reckless abandon. Now, there are a lot of factors to quote unquote black on black crime, poverty, and whatnot. Um, I have to say I disagree with you with your statement about we don't want to leave anything behind for our kids uh, because black people would not work as hard as we do if we didn't. Black moms wouldn't have a whole bunch of jobs to take care of their kids if they didn't want to give their kids something. Poverty puts stress on people to, to, to the point where they don't think about things that could better their lives. They don't think, oh, let me learn about, you know, life insurance, let me learn about hedge funds or whatever, like all of this stuff. They don't have time. They're working. They got the, the graveyard shift. They got to get the kids in the outhouse. Like, there's all this other stuff they have to do just survive. So there are systemic things in place that keep people in poverty. And to ask us, to ask of them, hey, overcome all of this and, like, you know, Become rich and out of poverty without having any time to work anything, having your kids to deal with, having your eviction notice to come on your door, you gotta have anxiety about that. On top of all of that, you want. There's two barriers that are in place that both naive, unfair, and irresponsible. Um, my stepfather was a very dark black man, very big man, and he never drank or smoked a day in his life. Taught, uh, Taught at the University of Central Missouri, but still got pulled over several times a fucking week and was still always considered to be a fucking criminal. My ex wife was running the office and people thought she was the help. It don't matter. It, it don't matter how hard they work. Racism still exists in the system. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, be a good citizen, but good black citizens get murdered every day. Well, I don't think it's